connect to our nine volt battery. We got to talk safety. And this is something that's that's good for me. It's been a great reminder for myself, even in my own house. Um, anytime we tamper with batteries, we have to proceed with caution. Um, most importantly, with the nine volt, if you do a simple Google search. A 9-volt battery can burn a house down. And so if you're not using the 9-volt battery, you always want to leave them in the packaging because if these two pieces, the part of a 9-volt battery is these are so close, the positive and the negative circuits, that if we could short this out, it could create a fire because 9 volts is a lot of power. And so when you're not using your 9-volt, it's important that you put electrical tape or duct tape, something around it, where the two, there's no way for these two prongs to connect. In one of the tips, we're going to talk about using a paper clip. So it'd be very important that you would take those paper clips off. Proceed with caution, double check, be safe, and when you're storing them, you always want to store them upright. You don't want to have them down in this or on the side, or like many of us have these batteries sitting like in a junk drawer where they could easily connect with another wire, create a short circuit, catch some paper on fire, and we've got bigger issues. So proceed with caution, be safe. None of these are harmful if we just use common sense. So always cover, always place upright, and don't leave your paper clips and wires just hanging out freely because we'd hate to burn down your school or your classroom. All right, guys, now let's get into some of the awesome ways in which we can get a wire to actually stick to a 9-volt battery. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and I had an amazing question come in. I have a group of elementary students from a local elementary who were exploring and building all their scribble bots and all sorts of awesome things, and the question came to me from, from them in terms of they were running into a problem where they're having a hard time with their wires always staying connected to a 9-volt battery. As we know, it's easy to connect to, but it is um, a problem that they can sometimes fall off. So I want to look at just a couple simple, somewhat safe ways. Um, I say somewhat because nothing is ever perfect. That we can easily keep our wires attached to our 9 volt. Now one of the, of the ways in which I, I have showed it in the previous videos is using an alligator clip to clip those on. And for the most part, the alligator clip will stay connected to that outer lip but oftentimes it doesn't stay connected very well to the smaller one. So one simple little way to do that and keep that connected would be to do one of the following things. So the first step, if you have it where it's coming out, the very simple thing for you to try first, just like that just fell right there, would be to get some duct tape and just create these smaller strips, just kind of ripping it in half. And the first thing that you could do is just connect it on and just add some tape and secure that clip on. And what I have found to be helpful is maybe not even clip it to the edge, but just take the whole alligator clip, just like so, and kind of just wrap that around. Now this isn't the most stable, and you're probably gonna have to add a little bit more, like I would add another little run on like right here. But it'll hold that one in place pretty good as long as we just have a metal connection because it's conductive, right? And then I clip this one out, which usually tends to be okay. And then if I go over here to my, my, bra, my bot, we should be in business. Okay, so that's one option. It's not the most stable, but it works, as you can see. And you just tape that bad boy on there, and that'll be fine. Okay, but maybe you've tried that already, and it doesn't work because tape doesn't solve everything. Even though know, we believe that duct tape can. And so another option that you could do would be to use paper clips. 
And so paper clips work really, really well. Paper clips work perfect around this larger one. And so you just kind of bend your paper clip around. You just kind of bend that through. And now you've kind of got a, your own little clip here that you can clip your wire onto. The other option, and this one is for the smaller one, and I've already kind of bent mine for the sake of time. So you didn't have to watch me do the whole thing because that would be pretty boring. But you wrap it around that small one and then I just used a, just a small pair of pliers and I'll just kind of bend that around, get that on there nice and snug. So that stays on there just like so. And then you can bend the paper clip the way you want. So now I've got these attachments, okay? And then that works just like we did before. And I'm just, so I'm gonna use alligator clips again. And I would, so I'm gonna go to test this here. We should have success, I'm gonna clip here. And then I'll clip here. And away we go. All right. All right. So there's your second way. The third way, if you want to get something a little more permanent, is you're going to use some hot glue. So I've got a hot glue gun right over here. And you could take a wire. And I've already stripped this wire here. And you could actually just fill in the inside. You just got to make sure the metal's touching, metal to metal. And so I could stick this wire in here, just like so. And I could just fill that little reservoir with hot glue. As you can kind of see right here, we'll let it dry. And I will go ahead and do the same for this other wire here in just a minute. I got a smaller one here, but it'll and it'll work for the demo purposes. And I just try to like to get as much surface contact as I can. It's not always perfect, I know, and this little tiny one can be a little tricky, but I'm going to cram this guy in there. I'm going to add that dab of glue. Obviously you got to be careful with the hot glue gun so you don't burn yourself. But as this dries, then it's the same kind of thing. We could use alligator clips, or we could just twist the two wires together if you didn't want to do the alligator clip. And then we should have success with this as well. So this would be three ways. We would have our paper clip option, our other option that we had, obviously this one, and then we had our first one just using some tape, which is probably stuff that you guys have already thought about. So now, when we get over here, we should have success. And I'm not going to do the alligator clips this time, but I could just alligator clip from here to here over to these wires. But you can see, if I hold these, hold the bot still, we've got success. So that's just simply using some hot glue to hold those in, and those aren't gonna go anywhere. And now you're set. I know we could alligator clip in. So, start with tape. If tape doesn't work, you could try the hot glue, or you could try good old trusty paper clips. Three simple ways. I've got to come up with more advanced things. Uh, maybe that'll be a tip for the next video. As always, I appreciate the questions. That shows that kids are curious and learning. I love it. And so because of that, I have added a Ask Coffee Chug page on my website on coffeeforthebrain.com. And if you have other ideas or things that you've used that have worked, please leave a comment, a link down below. Thanks so much, guys, and stay awesome.